All right, hey everybody, this is A7X Fan Ben with another video. This is a package from uh, Gigi of the Discord, and I'm extremely excited to open it, and you'll see why uh, pretty soon. So, he is one of the people in the community that's making their their own ships. So, hope these find you well, Gino. So, very exciting stuff here, and I didn't I didn't pre-open this like the other packages so it's going to be uh, a little bit slower to open but that's fine so by making his own ships I mean people that can produce their own ships um, separate from having to get them from packs things like that so various ways of doing that and I'm gonna get a little thing that I use for my 3D printing here. I think this came with a 3D printer. Um, just to split the tape along the edges of the package here. Got some nice thick thick cardboard to protect the cards. Uh, here we go. Nice. Check it out. So HMS Victory. First one of the two. Very exciting. This is the first time I've actually held a custom made version of my favorite ship. Um, or maybe second favorite ship along with the Sovereign of the Seas. But this is the, the first ship number 001 from uh, Pirates of the Age of Sail. Which is my custom historical pirate CSG set. So this one, of course, based on HMS Victory. One of the most famous ships in human history. 35 points, 5 mass, 6 cargo, L move, all rank 1 cannons with the L's long ranges in the middle. Eternal, the ship eliminates 2 mass with 1 hit. The ship's mass, the ship's cannons may not be eliminated. Mass still may be. And of course the link to Lord Horatio Nelson as well. And I had him design the artwork based on the real ship, which is a 3 deck ship of the line with 100 cannons, so we've got three gun decks with between the two sides, port and starboard, basically 30 um, cannons per gun deck, 15 per side, and then five towards the towards the stern. And I realized the name HMS Victory wouldn't show up on the on you know the side of the ship there in real life, but but that's fine because there's no in Pirate CSG there's no like stern that wraps around um, with the existing ships, so. And the sails, nice basic white sails, trying to make it look as close to the historical original as possible. And then the other one is number 001 from my other custom set, uh, Pirates of the Epic Seas. So this is the Black Star. So this, so Age of Sail is a completely historical set, and then Epic Seas is the opposite. It's completely a fantasy set. So the Black Star is a cursed 5 master, 5 cargo, L speed, uh, 24 points by the way, uh, 2S and then 3 2Ls and then another 2S all rank 2 cannons, and then abilities, once per turn roll a D6 on a 5 or 6, all ships within L of the ship have their base move reduced to S on their next turn. This ability can only be used when this ship's linked crew is aboard. And then the linked crew is the Moon Sorcerer, and he's even got the flavor text on the back, which is epic. It says, Captained by the famous Moon Sorcerer, who was a leading scientist before being partially corrupted by El Phantasma, the Black Star is one of the best ships in the growing cursed fleet. So this is pretty amazing to have custom-made versions of the two flagships of my custom sets, basically. So flagships meaning like they're the first ship in each set. Um, so that's pretty wild. Alright, so might as well take a closer look at these. And at least give building them a shot. So the way Gino makes is he's got a laser cutter and then I think he's been using uh, sublimation to get the artwork on, but I could be wrong on that part. Um, and this is even accurate too, because it's got the ship's boat, and then I made sure to have him do artwork where 
there's um, two large cannons on the forecastle or the forecastle. So those represent the 68 pounder carronades that HMS Victory carried um, at some points. Not, I don't remember if she only carried those towards the end of her uh, fighting days or not, but anyway, it became relatively common for English ships, especially the large ones, to have uh, large carronades mounted on the forecastle, uh, especially like the three-deckers, I think. So anyway, it's been a while since I read um, detailed history books about the Age of Sail and things of that nature. So, so this is amazing. This is the first time ever building HMS Victory in Pirate CSG style. So, pretty wild. So he does uh, laser cut styrene. So these are made of the same, pretty much the same material as the original ships as opposed to 3D printing, which uses uh, usually PLA, which is polylactic acid. Um, there's other things you can, you can, there's other materials you can 3D print with, but PLA is generally the most common as far as I know, so. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to build these effectively on camera, so. And I might just build the one, especially because they're both five masters, I might just build the one for now, so. But we'll see. This one's it's coming together pretty well so far. This is going to be super epic. You see the three gun decks. She easily becomes the most well-armed ship in Pirate CSG history with the rank 1 cannons and the the crazy ability she's got. So I wanted to make the ship historically accurate but also you know, extremely powerful, which is historically accurate, so. <laughs> British gun crews back in the Age of Sail were known for uh, having a high rate of fire, or a fast rate of fire. So, that's a lot of the times, that's one of the, one of the main reasons they were able to beat the Franco-Spanish uh, in battle, was because they were able to fire their cannons faster, so. And they had more reliable cannons, too, so. Alright, normally I punch out all the pieces, I'm kind of off today maybe, but normally I punch out all the pieces before I even start a build, but this one's going a little differently, but that's fine. Then one thing I noticed about Gino's is he's got a distinctive um, jib boom sail, so, or sprit sail or whatever. So these ones, they have kind of like that arc going up, rather than just being more flat in front, so... Which is kind of cool, it gives it an effect that the wind is really blowing it forward with a good amount of force. And then usually I do stir in the bow with masts on a five master. And he's got the Union Jack and everything. So put the flag in. Usually I do the flag first and then I go through the mast after that. So, wow, this is really impressive. This is actually working really well too. So. I know it's off camera at times, but that's all right, I think. I kind of went in interesting. So yeah, that mast is like forward a little bit, but I can still bend it back a bit, so. You know, it's totally understandable if it's not perfect. <clears throat> Inevitably, a lot of trial and error goes into these processes. I know from personal experience that 3D printing the ships is not not an easy thing to figure out in terms of the dimensions and slot sizes and all that sort of stuff so all right got the main mast in there this is really sick I'll leave a link to the Victory's uh, Wikipedia page if I post this. Alright, looks like the last last mast is going in. Just gotta try to get it in more firmly. Nice. And then I might as well add a pennant just for good measure. 
see if that can go on the main mast. Nice. Yeah, it's not perfect, but this is this is amazing. This is gorgeous. So there you have it. HMS Victory for the first time possibly ever a physical copy of HMS Victory in Pirate CSG. One of my favorite ships of all time. Pretty much my favorite. I usually say the Sovereign of the Seas is my favorite, but this one is up there with her. Sovereign of the Seas is my uh, avatar in general for pirates, so. But HMS Victory, three decked, 100 gun ship of the line. Ship number 001 from Pirates of the Age of Sail. Massive, epic, historical custom set. Looks quite similar to the actual HMS Victory. Which is, of course, is one of the goals here. So, pretty sick, to say the least. And then I've got I've got some time left on the camera battery, so I might as well build the black star as well. So now you go the opposite route and go all fantasy. Yeah, victory looks great. So the black star. Custom curse ship from Pirates of the Epic Seas. Epic Seas, I think, reached over 1,100 total game pieces. I believe. I know it's over a thousand. I think. I think it surpassed 1,100, probably in 2020, possibly. Um, Pirates of the Age of Sail, I think, has around 600. Was the last estimate. So. So I've designed around 1,700 custom game pieces total. And these are the two flagships of their respective sets, being the first ship in each set. So, so of all the customs I have, these would be two of the most wanted that I would, that I would want to have made. So, so the Black Star looks pretty sick. And in uh, Pirates of the Epic Seas, where I go really crazy with the flavor text and abilities, um, some of the flavor text for stuff in Pirates of the Epic Seas is like really, really long flavor text. A lot of it's like pretty elaborate. There's like all these grand themes and apocalypse narratives and the cursed rising, and then there's but then there's all sorts of other stuff too. There's like this huge mercenary contingent. It's just totally, it's bonkers. So if you want to see a really epic, wild, out of control custom set, Epic Seas is the biggest I've ever seen. I don't know what the second biggest custom set is. Most people break it up uh, into more normal, um, more normal set numbers. Like they won't have more than like one or two or three hundred game pieces in a set um, as opposed to Epic Seas which is like well over a thousand but I did that mostly because I didn't, I didn't really ever find a clear or like purposely make a clear delineation uh, between custom sets in terms of themes so I kinda just throw all my fantasy customs into Epic Seas because I never really I never really established a a second or separate uh, custom set theme for fantasy stuff. So it's all just in there, all in one huge set, which has like a bunch of different themes throughout, but they're not really distinct enough, distinctive enough to separate, at least not in my opinion. So, all right. So the Black Star has come together. I would say in terms of construction and how these work, it's probably like 80, 90% as good as the originals. The main thing is the the mizzen mast is is a little iffy on both, but with a little bit of bending, it looks better too. So, so here we are. Oh, and then yeah, let me do the pennants. I'm somebody who likes to always put pennants on the ships. I think it definitely makes them look better. And it's it's a nice finishing touch. And of course, with the victory, when I actually use her, she's gonna have three, like almost guaranteed, because I usually I do like three pennants on five masters that are like the flagships of their fleets like I did that for HMS Lord Algernon in Command the Oceans because she was like the flagship of the English fleet 
So that's something I like to do, make like a literal flagship. Because then once once you put three pennants on a five master, like one on each of the three uh, square rigged masts, it looks just really, really amazing. So speaking of amazing, the Black Star is now complete. Custom five master from Pirates of the Epic Seas. Huge thank you to uh, Gigi for for making these for me and sending them. Uh, I massively appreciate it. They look amazing. Highly recommended. Um, so yeah, this is this is great. Oh, I see how the gun ports, the inside of the gun ports, have a, like a black star on them. It's kind of hard to see with the camera, but anyway. So two epic custom five masters, and I could not be happier with this. This is just this is really really awesome. So oh, whoops. So the jib fell off, but that's fine. Pop that back on. That's my fault because I dropped it. So. So this is this is definitely the more exciting of the two HMS Victory, one of the most famous and successful ships to ever sail the seas. Finally, in physical form. So thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll definitely be back more.